warrior and you are welcome back to my channel like comment and subscribe as you can see i'm bending because that is a save for another day anyways i have a quick announcement to make you know how tacha has a titans messi has a mercenaries you guys you'll be warriors you are warriors you are surviving you are living you are um going through this thing called life it's not easy but you are doing it anyway so you are a warrior and you're a fighter remember that so i just have to ask you a quick question are you a doctor sorry do you want to become a doctor are you interested in medicine and surgery are you interested in the um medical aspect as um the field of medicine as a career if yes it's important that you understand what it means to be studying medicine and surgery in nigeria so this video we're going to be giving you some tips and advice on what we wish we knew when we started our journey so without wasting too much time i'm going to start this video right now peace here's what i would say i would say i'm sure some of you are nervous some of you are excited some of you are anxious to start this journey i'm sure most of you are scared because you don't know what tomorrow holds a handful of you do <laughs> might think you're going to become the next Meredith Grey <laughs> and that's possible but then I would be doing a grave injustice if I don't tell you what it requires or what I wish I knew while I was in your position you see my journey in medicine have taught, has taught me that you don't need to be intelligent you don't need to be so brilliant you don't need to be you know a genius or you don't need to be so outstandingly smart to do medicine and be exceptional at it you just need to be persevering you just need to want it you just need to want it that's just it so it is not necessarily for those who have taken prizes but it is for those who are persevering enough to set goals for themselves and achieve those goals because it is tasking it is demanding it will take a lot from you but then you have to move with the mindset that at the end you would be fine you will be fine that's just it so i'm not a medicine student but i'll say generally they should relax and enjoy the process because i feel like sometimes you can get overwhelmed by everything that's happening and studying the course generally so they should just actually enjoy what they're studying and make sure that no matter what happens they do not lose the passion they have for the course and if along the line they realize that oh maybe they're not really interested in this they should feel free to change it and not think about oh medicine is expensive how would i tell my parents this and that you know they should actually think of their passion so if along the line they don't get interested in it anymore they should actually pick what comes to their heart okay so basically um make sure doing medicine for the right reasons make sure going into it because you actually want to do it not for anybody else because at the end of the day you're the one putting all the work and all the effort and all the sacrifices and also when you get to school don't be a loner try to mix up with people try to make friends in your level in your course in higher levels in the same course different courses because you're going to need things from them like past questions you can get from higher level students and also i'm sure you heard things about medical students who have social lives that's totally not true oh, I, I know you want i know you wanted this video to be one minute but i have to emphasize on the first point because it's very important it affects a lot of hundred level students when they come to abroad they come here they get overwhelmed by you know the environment and the style of the students here and then they struggle to fit in at the detriment of their own well-being you come you see people who starve in the name of saving just to buy what an iphone my number one rule is don't buy it if you don't need it if you don't need it don't buy it all these people when you come to this school you see people using iphone you see people wearing fancy shoes you don't know the level of scamming and starvation that they put themselves through to afford those things only very few students who actually come from rich homes and their allowances are fat 
afford those things comfortably a lot of them go through a lot to save scam starve just to buy those little little toys that you see them using so don't let it get to you basically what i would tell you to do is just keep the right circle that's first of all always have people that will always motivate you around you because it will get tough considering the fact that lecturers will always tell you that you're probably not going to make it to second year and probably not make it to the end of the road but if you have positive energy around you not just like positive energy for like having fun but for also like academic work um when i was in hundred level i didn't really take it that seriously because hundred level is not really all that it's actually mostly things that you already know but at the same time i wish i put in more effort because like it's easier to get a good result in hundred level because you, you can never have it that easy again so yeah and i don't even that founder's prize when i was back in hundred level people were just saying that it's fake it's fake so I mean why I didn't really put much thought into it until I just saw that they were giving prize. I don't mean to I got uh, uh, a prize, but if I knew I'd have worked for that five points. So like just don't stress too much, but at least make sure like you take it seriously and like you know what you're in school for. Use your hundred level to have fun you can still read your books and pass and all that but i want you to know that it doesn't matter in the long run because you won't have a cgpa anymore you won't have a gpa anymore nothing will matter all the huddling up rushing for attendance truly take it easy don't stress yourself that much because when you get to 200 level that's when the real stress starts so like take it easy like be serious but take it easy and um yeah yeah have friends have friends because your math exam is going to be easier if you have friends and um don't waste all your money on stupid shit honestly Not school won't be easy, I won't lie to you, but if you've made it this far, then I'm sure you can push through and push ahead. So don't put too much pressure on yourself, take it one day at a time, and try as much as possible to have a very good support system, and even reading bodies. So, good luck. Don't do it, please, don't do it to yourself. <laughs> don't let your parents lie to you. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Like, just do what you want to do with this. I really try to sound <laughs> inspirational just now, but like, there's really nothing hard in studying medicine. And like, you hear a lot of you fail, will drop you, blah 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 blah. But to be honest, if you just read what is in your notes. Especially now that you are entering 100 level, I promise you that you will pass and you will be shocked. As I'm very sure that this stuff I, I'm actually little, but I'm giving a piece of advice or an information to a fresh 100 level med student. More, I think <laughs> I'll just turn the person to not stress like you might as well study another course to be honest but if i feel if i'm feeling good i would advise the person to try their best and like trust me that you're going to read every time but if i'm not feeling good trust me i advise you to go and start wearing blue shirts because it's not me and you but oh well what am i live in the moment but also work really smart and really hard yeah
I really want to thank God for this YouTube channel. I'm saying this, this YouTube video that came out this week because I promise you, I had nothing. <laughs> there was no content. But God came through. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Your white coat warrior. Have a wonderful day, my warriors. That's your name. Receive it. Take it. Bye.